In the United Kingdom, a man was torturing a sheep stuck in a pool of water. The sheep died. Heartbroken, the man formed a religion around his death. In America, one player wins a bet and gets a killstreak so high, it only ended because the creator grew bored of being at the top. Somewhere in the world, a group of people came together and created a plan. Later, they revealed one of the world's most severe security vulnerabilities ever. What do these three seemingly random stories have in common? Well, all of them take place in a ten-year-old cube game. If you think about it, Minecraft is a very odd game. The gameplay loop consists of breaking and crafting blocks, none of which are required to play the game. And one could even beat the game without doing either of them. The graphics look like they come from 2000, and the game doesn't even feature a real ending. Sure, you could beat the dragon, but after that, the game just continues as if nothing happened. One person could spend their entire game just standing around and watching grass grow and call it a day. There are no goals in Minecraft. Everything you can do is optional. Dying has no impact on the game. The story is practically non-existent besides some obscure lore. And in the end, there is no external motivation to do anything. And yet, you do everything in Minecraft. It's a fascinating thing to consider. Perhaps it's Minecraft that allows us to be who we truly are, to express ourselves in a way we normally can't. Realistically, you cannot go outside right now and build a house. You'd need warrants, tools and money. The real world is boring. You cannot just simply build an empire or become an explorer. But in Minecraft, there are no imitations. The world of blocks is practically a blank canvas begging for people to paint their own imagination onto it. To craft a narrative around it. To fill up the empty world with stories. To breathe life into a dead world. Minecraft itself is an empty book waiting for a story to be written. And the players, they answer the world's call. We built real-life replicas of cities in the game, reinvented technology from the real world and brought it into the game. We created art in the most hazardous environments and fought monsters and players just because we could. In a world where you can spend your entire day making dirt houses, you decided not to do any of that. Instead, built an entire kingdom and ruled over it like either a saint or a tyrant. You look at a mountain and make a legend around it. You encountered another player and decided that together you can do something much greater. You looked at the world and decided it was not enough. You looked at Minecraft and thought to yourself, how could it become something more? To this day, new stories are crafted and carved into this block game. Stories of how you manage to beat insurmountable odds and thrive in impossible environments. Stories of creativity and you pushing the game to its absolute limits and beyond. Stories of you building impossible things and slaying gods. Minecraft is a game of nothingness, and you are everything. Without you, the game would be long dead and forgotten as yet another indie title. But your ingenuity turned this game from a boring engine into a device for immersive storytelling, a place for learning and scholarship, of technological marvels and skill. In my own opinion, Minecraft is one of the best games ever, a legend amongst giants. But it's not because of gameplay, genius game design or sales numbers, not because of Mojang or Microsoft. When I tell people I love Minecraft, I mean I love what you can do with Minecraft. You are the one that makes Minecraft the best game. You and the entire community of players that try to play, build, break, transform and beat the game 
in their own way. Every aspect of Minecraft is beautiful, but you are the most beautiful part of Minecraft. Thank you very much for watching this video, and thanks to all of you that have chosen to subscribe, or even share this video. Liking it also helps uh, expand the channel, and I would like to give the last part of this video as a, well, sort of a thank you to someone that has recently passed. That person being Technoblade. It's a funny thing, really. Uh, Technoblade and myself share the same name. His first name, that is. I don't know his last name. Uh, Technoblade. Technoblade. God, he was brilliant, wasn't he? Really brilliant. Really funny. Witty. Charming. Overall, just stunning. An individual like that is so rare, especially on the entertainment scene, or well, in this case, in particular, the YouTube scene. So very rare. Perhaps that's what makes his passing so keenly felt. You know, it's maybe a month or so too late, but still, it's, it's so raw. I mean, he was such a force of nature. You know, seeing him play these games and seeing him consistently dominate, all with a brilliant commentary to go with it, it was humbling. I am, by all means, an amateur voice actor, you can probably tell, just with the amount of mistakes in the uh, narration of the video, but I'm trying to hone my craft, and I can tell you for a fact that Technoblade absolutely honed his. Honed his Minecraft, that is. I think the world lost something very special. Very special and irreplaceable. Perhaps it does that every time someone dies, but... It's something to be said when... You're that sort of... Impactful. To so many people, and you don't know them. That's a, that's a rare and valuable gift. And it was done with kindness. That's what Technoblade was. He was kind. He was a kind person. And he's gone. But never forgotten. Never, never forgotten. Because his legacy, it's everywhere. In every aspect of the block game or YouTube scene, he was, and still is, a force to be reckoned with. This will likely all be cut, or maybe it'll be kept in depending on the editor's choice. Again, I'm just the narrator. But even if this is just lost to the void, I have to say... Thank you. Truly thank you. Because of who you were and how you did things, I was... Inspired to get a proper microphone. I mean, I'm currently using a Samsung Galaxy S8 to record this audio. That's why it sounds so poor. But I've got a Rode microphone now. And I hope to figure it out for the next video. Um, truly, thank you for giving me that kick up the arse I needed. And thank you for inspiring so many others. You will be missed. But you will not be forgotten. Alright. Thank you for listening.